Hello friends, welcome to another video on my YouTube channel and in this video you will learn how to build an application that converts image to text generally known as image captioning applications. So let's get started. Before I move forward, I would like to show you a couple of things. First, the code used in this video is available on my GitHub and the link for it is in the description of the video. Second, uh, the model I have used is this NLP Connect VIT GPT-2 image captioning model and all the files and a model is available to download. You can download it. Third, I have used Gradio to develop a small demoable application. So you can, you know, uh, read more about it, Gradio and use it in your machine learning application. It is very easy, convenient and fast way to just show your applications. Now I am inside my VS code and I have all the files and folders uh, that are needed to show this application. Before we move forward into the code section, make sure you download the model and supported files. The best way to download the supported file is to use git and then clone and then you can go to this uh, hugging face model and up to the model name. Yeah, copy this link and once you copy that, you can come here and paste it. So you can use this command git clone so that you can download it very easily. Otherwise, you need to download one by one manually. So this downloaded or cloned uh, repository has these few files which are needed to develop the application. Now let's move to the application part. Here I'll first import few things that is needed vision encoder decoder model uh, VIT image processor and auto tokenizer. So I'll develop my model from obviously pre uh, feature extractor from pre-tained and tokenizer from pre-tained and I'll provide the path to the latest downloaded model from hugging face. Now I'll move uh, my model to device. So I will use this uh, torch device and if else condition so that you know it will run on CPU as well but a GPU is recommended. Once uh, the model is moved to the device, these are some settings uh, that the generator model will need. Uh, now I have written a function predict steps. So the first step we will do is we will extract the features uh, that will be the pixel values. And then from those pixel values, we will use generator model to generate output IDs. And from the tokenizer, we will convert those IDs into sentence. So let's test this. So I'll create an image. Let's say image PIL image dot open and I'll provide one of the image path. And then I'll say let's print predict step and I'll provide the image equals to image. Uh, I think I miss a parenthesis. Okay. Now let me first activate my virtual environment. Now I'm inside my virtual environment. What I'll do is that I'll run the predict caption file. This can take a minute or something like that depending on your hardware configuration. Yeah, you can see the caption came is a row of beer bottles setting on top of a table and it's a John Perry. So if we see this, you will see that it's a indeed a correct caption for this image. So it, it works pretty well. I have tested it with a couple of images as well. Now let's go to the Gradio part. So with the help of Gradio and just like, you know, uh, 15 lines of code, I have created a showable uh, application. 
so let me create this and i'll say gradio uh, gradio ui dot pi so this will launch uh, application on a browser so i can click on this now it will take a few moments to you know load the model because we are using this uh, predict step function yeah so you can see this is the application here i need to drag or drop uh, the image so i'll get my image first let's see this so this is the image and you can see a knife and uh, some oranges on a cutting board so that's kind of accurate now let's change the uh, image i'll cancel this i'll cre uh, select new image so uh, let's use this uh, yeah a row of blue and white paint cans sitting next to each other so it's a kind of uh, uh, not accurate but uh, we can work with that as well so i think this is it uh, from my side so we have seen how to you know first uh, download the model and then you know use it into a kind of function and then use that function uh, with the help of gradio to create uh, this kind of uh, ui uh, i'm sure that you have gained some knowledge out of this video and if you do so please consider subscribing to my channel and you know share and like this video uh, thank you for supporting peace